What's opening this week? Several films are opening in wide release over at our friends at AMC Theatres this week. We're going to talk about a couple of them today and then a couple more of them on Thursday. But Ashley, which films are we highlighting today? First up is the new Steven Spielberg film, Bridge of Spies. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union captures U.S. pilot Francis Gary Powers after shooting down his U-2 spy plane. Sentenced to 10 years in prison, Powers' only hope is New York lawyer James Donovan, played by Tom Hanks, <clears throat> recruited by a CIA operative to negotiate his release. Donovan boards a plane to Berlin, hoping to win the young man's freedom through a prisoner exchange. If all goes well, the Russians would get Rudolf Abe, the convicted spy who Donovan defended in court. Next up is Goosebumps. Upset about moving from the big city to a small town, young Zach Cooper finds a silver lining when he meets his beautiful neighbor, Hannah. The teen is surprised to learn that Hannah's mysterious father is R.L. Stein, played by Jack Black, the famous author of the best-selling Goosebumps series. When Zach accidentally unleashes the monsters from the Fantastic Tales, it's up to Stein, his daughter, and Cooper to return the beasts back to the books where they belong. Christian, which of these movies should audiences be looking forward to this weekend it's funny though too because i i had heard initially things about goosebumps that it wasn't that good and then i think it's like, like 86 or 87 on 82 of, as of this moment 82 percent on rotten, rotten tomatoes, tomatoes right i'm now. hearing really good things about it i hear it's a really fun family movie so like i actually really want to see that one because it, it always reminded me a little bit of like jumanji and so I, i'm curious to see how it plays out i'm going to see it this weekend but i saw bridge of spies and I think I think it's a really good film, but it, it's it's funny because I was just talking about this with someone else too. You you're watching this movie and it doesn't have that Spielberg magic to it. Like it clearly is a it's a good film. And if you didn't know Spielberg did it, you'd be like, oh okay, who's who's this director? But like you know when you're watching a Spielberg film, you're just over you're t overtaken by the magic of filmmaking and and there's glimpses of it. But I thought that the first half of it was a little bit more interesting to me than even when he goes off and he's trying to set up these deals. Um, I think it's a movie that you if you find on the Netflix or cable, you'll you'll watch it. Like oh that was really good, but. Strangely enough, I actually, out of the two picking, I'd probably go see Goosebumps this weekend. Yeah, it's funny. I've been really looking forward to both of these films. I was supposed to see Goosebumps like two and a half months ago, and last second I couldn't go. But I've liked the trailers for them, actually, even though I thought the idea was stupid when I first heard it. Saw the trailers, liked the trailers, and despite the fact that I heard from some other people in this room that it's really not all that good, I've, I've still been looking forward to it. Bridge of Spies is an absolute for me that I'm really dying to see. I was supposed to see it last night, but I've been a little bit under the weather, so I, I couldn't go. Steven Spielberg, Tom Hanks, magic, magic, magic. Uh, I cannot wait to see that. I'm hoping it's at least as good as what you're saying, maybe better. So the, both of them I'm actually really looking forward to seeing, so that's where I'm at. But Schnepp, you've seen one of these films. Yeah, I didn't see Bridge of Spies, and I'm looking forward to seeing it, but like... You know, Spielberg, every, every single time you see a frame from one of his films, it's just so richly shot, and the cinematography is so amazing. It always feels like a real movie. Yeah. It doesn't even matter. There's like that intimacy one to all of his yeah, films. Yeah, so I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing the film. I, it's not like this, like, I cannot wait to see Bridge of Spies, but I am looking forward to eventually seeing it. I'd like to see it in the theater. I did see Goosebumps like two and a half months ago, and I was disappointed. I felt it was very uneven and didn't deliver a lot of the laughs that I thought it would. A couple other people were in the theater. Well, everybody who went with you came back saying they weren't happy with it. A few it. people that we talked to who, who did see it actually did like it. So we we're like, oh, that's weird. I wonder what they saw that we didn't. So I don't know if they made adjustments to the film since we saw it, but I, you know, I can't recommend it. But I know a lot of other people really liked it. So you're gonna have to make that, you know, that choice yourself. Go check it out. Maybe you'll dig it. So. Let me ask you, Ashley, if you had a choice right now, I said, right now we can either go see Bridge of Spies or we can go see Goosebumps. Easy. Which theater is Ashley taking us to? Goosebumps for sure. Goosebumps is like my childhood. I was a little <laughs> bit too young, but I had an older brother and he had all these Goosebumps book in his closet, like book, like the books in his um, closet. And I would take them to school and pretend that I was reading the Goosebumps books because like I was young and I thought it was really cool reading the Goosebumps <laughs> books. So it was just, it just reminds me of my childhood and the fact that Jack Black is in it. When I saw the trailer, I didn't even really recognize him, but then I remember Jack Jack Black is in it. I'm super excited for this and like perfect time of year for this to come out. It's kind of fun. The kids can go see it. it puts you in that like Halloween mood. So I'm really excited for Goosebumps.